okay. excited about this one. It's time to enjoy some cooking and cocktails How about that? as we get one step closer <laughs> to the big weekend. We had the quadruple Bs at the top. Now we've got the double Cs. Hey, we've yeah. got a great dish coming up. Whether you want to save for Valentine's Day or prepare it at home tonight, the result's going to be delicious. John Ryman from Bonefish Grill is here to serve up their signature surf and turf along with a cool pomegranate sage martini. We're going to get to that soon, but great to see you, John. Thank you guys for having Thanks me. For Happy Valentine's in. Day. So yes. it's Bonefish Grill. The first thing I see is a, a nice kind of steak <laughs> well, I'll here. Tell you, so. it's one of the best things about the Bonefish Grill is the freshest ingredients, and we have an oak word burning grill mm -hmm. on site. And I tell you, we put a, a very simple seasoning on top of all of our steaks, put, cook it on top of the oak burning grill, People just rave about it. And so it tastes like steak. Yeah, it, yeah. it's pretty awesome. Yeah. And today, what we're going to be featuring for you folks at home for your celebration is how to make a, a very simple surf and turf at home. Fantastic. And, and as you said, you're not over seasoning something like no. this. You don't have to. In our restaurants, a very simple mixture. Mm -hmm. And today, we have a very simple mixture Great. of what we're doing. Um, today, for you folks at home, we're going to actually show you how to marinate the steak and how to cook it. Let's do and it. How to do a good presentation. Um, what's important is in our marination, which, as you can tell, we actually went ahead and remarinated -mar this one a little bit ahead of time. Mm -hmm. um, I wanna, hold on a second. I want to turn this steak around. Can you get a cut of the picture of that steak? Is that shaped like a heart? Is, I think is, it is. Is it for Valentine's? I well, think it, it is. The best cut John's so meat. talented. <laughs> well, the best cut to meat in, in the world is a filet, filet mignon. Yeah. And that's what we're serving. As you can tell, it's so thick, so so juicy, and very, very little fat content. Mm -hmm. Actually, one of the healthiest pieces of meat that you could possibly have. And what we have here on the same plate with it is a little bit of Old Bay seasoning that we're going to use to season the top of the lobster mm. tail. That's a nice looking lobster it. tail, too. And, of course, you know, the way to get the wow with the... Uh, a significant other that you're cooking for is a great presentation with some great asparagus um, on the plate with a grilled lemon. Actually makes the, the grillness, when you grill the lemon mm -hmm. and squeeze it on top of that lobster, it just brings out the flavor Does even it really? more. Yeah, absolutely. And really, John, you were saying it's all about the presentation because most people, we eat with our eyes first. Correct. And at the restaurant, what we do is we have a designated person there double checking everything, making sure everything is great, ready to be presented so that when you get it, it's a feast for the eyes more than Love the it. Wait a minute, wait eyes. a minute, wait a minute. There's a job at Bonefish Grill where you just look at the food and say, <laughs> yeah. Sure. Because oh. it, it, at our place, it, ha it has to be perfect when it comes out. Yeah. <laughs> Might have to taste some every once in a while. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do is just, we already went ahead and pre-marinated this, yeah. but what you would do at home is we have our Worcestershire here. You have basically just put enough inside the bowl to let it get a good... Just a little half a ramekin full or so. And all these measurements um, are on, online, so you can kind of see how to do it at home. Mm -hmm. A little bit of a tablespoon of the whoosh of the uh, Dijon mustard in there. Give it a nice little stir here. What does that combination do, John? It's the Worcestershire, of course, with any steak. The... It, it just brings it out, and you bring the Dijon mustard inside of it. It's, yeah. You gotta taste it to, to really believe it. Then you're giving a pinch of sea salt do it just a pinch, not overly, and then a pinch of black pepper. That really is not much. No, and you're just marinating this, and this is of course enough probably for two steaks, but we're cooking one on air, mm -hmm. and we got the nice mixture going. So then you put the off to the side, put your steak in. John, when would you like to marinate this if you were planning ahead for your mm -hmm. dinner? Just you a couple of hours prior to, or maybe the day before? Yeah, about four hours ahead of time. Four hours ahead. Is that, is that at room temperature or Actually, in the fridge? Actually, you can marinate it out in room temperature, and okay. then put it into the fridge for four hours and just let it sit. The longer mm. you let it sit in its own juices, the better okay. it is, of course. And of course, we're gonna let that marinate. We'll pretend like, of course, that was marinating that for was about four that hours. That was a quick four hours. Pop yeah. it on the grill. <laughs> yeah. And of course, you can see here, what we have is a finished product at the restaurant. We actually were able to grill off the grill mark. So what you do is you would take that one off, put that on top of the asparagus to give it the presentation. It's already been grilled. Yes. With the lemon. And then the lemon onto the side, and it gives it that shingle effect to give it a much more eye-popping presentation when you give it. And of course, this works really good at home when you're with your significant other, and you're giving dinner to them. And then we're gonna cook this on here for a short period of time. The significant other, John, is gonna be wild if you present something like that. Yes, they're gonna be unbelievable. They're gonna be like blown away. Okay. And of course, we got our lobster tail. And the presentation of the lobster tail is the hardest part. And what you want to do is you want to get a lobster tail from your local grocer, and if you're not comfortable with it, you ask them to cut the shell for you, pull the lobster meat out, mm -hmm. and then you can plug it in. You can take it off to place the top, it put in. it in, place it back do in. Do not throw those shells away. No, because that's the presentation. Fan right. out that tail. We're, 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 just, it's, right, it's we're running a little short on time. Our four hours is flying by. Okay, absolutely. So, so then I'm going to take this pot off, and of course you want to. I have this up to number one. We're going to take this lobster tail. 
And we're gonna pop it inside of our steam. Mm -hmm. Just make you take a saute pan. Done. With some hot water. And of course, as you can see, through the magic of time, we actually have a beautiful one. That's exactly what it would look like. Yeah. And of course, we seasoned it with our Old Bay seasoning. Boom. And then we're gonna let that kind of season. All right, we have one minute, John. Let's get to this uh, pomegranate Absolutely. martini here. Okay, one of our big things of Bonefish is our handcrafted martinis. Mm -hmm. And we make all these from scratch every day. So Jump the first in. one is, let's do it. We're gonna, would you like to mix these up? Absolutely. I, got the, I have this filled with what half do we have? of ice. Okay, we have them actually all pre-measured for you. So you don't oh. have to measure it. I was gonna make one for Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Just hand <laughs> so me the bottle. This is, uh, <laughs> this is your favorite. Um, vodka, that's three ounces. This is enough for two people. All right. Okay, and that's two ounces of pomegranate juice. Pomegranate juice. And then we have our simple syrup. This one right here, yeah. a little simple. Not, not syrup, much, right? Just a little. Is, you know, raw sugar and water. It's simple. It doesn't yeah. have to be much. This is our um, egg whites. Egg white. Yeah. Really? Now, egg whites was used back in the Prohibition days to mask the flavor and the smell ah. of the vodka. So you didn't want to go speak easy on yeah, me, John. Fresh lemon juice. Little there. lemon juice. You like lemon the lemon. Juice. All right, we've got 15 Grand seconds. Marnier. A little Grand Marnier. And then the key is to put your strainer on top. All right. You give it a good shaky. Yeah, the more you get it. Oh, there you go, a little live action. All right. <laughs> like the movie cocktail. So what you're going to do is use the strainer. Strainer. Let's do and, this. And yep, strain it right into the drink. You should have enough there to make close to two. Or, or one, one for, for Bill. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Perfect. Bill, right. and I present to you. what we do is at the restaurant, we have oh. sage um, in there. Tell about the presentation So we take the John. sage leaf. It. Yep. Give it a little smack to get Ooh. the flavors and the smells working. Cheers, my man. Pop it on top. Let's just oh, wait a minute. Mm. And uh, that should be absolutely delicious. Man. All right, y'all have a rest of good today. It's good. Hey, Bill. Good, huh? Hey, Bill, will you be my Valentine? <laughs> Make some more of these. Hey, we're going to post these recipes on our show website by early this afternoon at WTVR.com slash VTM. John, thanks so much.